What's up guys, it's Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy, and today we're gonna wash some chairs. For those of you who don't know, I have a rental company that I started right here at my house. And I grew big enough to uh, actually move into a warehouse. And uh, a lot of my job is cleaning, so I could actually consider myself uh, kind of a professional cleaner. Check this stuff out right here. Check this stuff out right here. Dirty table. You may not be able to tell from this video, but it's dirtier than the Prius from Dirty Mike and the Boys. A bunch of old homeless dudes had an orgy in the car. In fact, they even left you a note here. Thanks for the F shack. Love Dirty Mike and the Boys. We'll spray some of this on there. Like the dirt is just falling off. Just so you know, dirt doesn't always just fall off tables like that. You need a good degreaser to make it happen like that. And this is a Econo Clean. It's a good degreaser that makes it do that. And it's what I use, a Econo Clean. Okay, let's spray it off on half. When we pressure wash, we've got a pressure washer that just runs out the side of the building and uh, we separate the dirties from the cleans. So just pressure wash, use some Econo Clean, spray the chairs first, pressure wash them off. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Econo Cam is the company and they're located in Las Vegas in the States and Calgary in Canada. And they send concentrated jugs of solution so that you can dilute to whatever potency you like. I like strong, but this is the potency. Honestly, go give them a call. They'll send you a sample and uh, you won't ever use anything else for uh, general cleaning. I mean, you need other products to do other stuff, but Econo Clean is a great uh, degreaser cleaner. So uh, tables, stuff like that. Moving along. No degreaser is gonna help you when it comes to a moldy tent. With a moldy tent, you need something more powerful. Dirty Mike and the boys strike again on a 20 by 20 vinyl pole tent. Really loud, it's gonna be a nice evening. Jar of old mustard, and we got a poodle, and we're just gonna get in there, and we're gonna put some D's in some A's. Hey, are you Dirty Mike and the boys? How do you know who we are? And today we've got, uh, you know, a semi moldy tent, so uh, we're just going to spray it with some uh, CLR, some CLR mold and stain remover, see how it goes. So while I let the mold and mildew remover uh, foam on the tent for the next 10 minutes and dissolve the, the mold, I'm getting uh, photo booths ready over here. You ever wonder what kind of computers inside a photo booth? What's the computer in that photo booth, Les? Surface Pro 3 from Microsoft. You heard it from me, Surface Pro 3, get it for your photo booth. So sometimes there's just no saving it from cleaning. Until now. I've actually painted quite a few tents uh, using boat repair cleaner. It's like a spray paint. It's called SEM uh, Vinyl Color Coat. It's awesome. So here, check that out. Old 20 by 30 that we have here is going for a client pickup today. When we rolled it out, we realized that there was some yellowing stains that we quickly put on to seal it last year, which is the wrong thing to do. We just kind of painted some H66 on it last year just so it wouldn't leak. Uh, the customer didn't care. It was just a, uh, an event that they didn't really care what the tent looked like. When we whipped it out this year, it had yellow marks. So I had to think quick. So I picked up some, uh, some of this color coat white and this color coat white, if you've seen any of my other videos, this is how you paint tents, especially small spots. Uh, it makes another vinyl seal on the tent. Okay, so you see this line right here? Jaden's just uh, cleaning it from any debris and then we spray the white paint on top. Very simple and quick, easy fix to make your tent white again. All right, 
let's be honest, I'm pretty much the only person on the internet who talks about painting uh, tent tops, but I do it and it's, it's awesome. But let's just talk about cleaning tent tops, general cleaning. So we're cleaning this tent bag today and uh, I just want to show you the process to clean uh, a tent on this bag. We do this on our tent. So first we spray our good spray. This is a condo clean. Now we got it uh, almost at full power. So we just spray it on here, which I've done before and we left it there. And then we wipe with a magic eraser. So the magic eraser isn't like a cloth. It's actually kind of like sandpaper and pieces come off and it just lifts the dirt. So you don't want to wipe away with the magic eraser. You just want to lift that dirt. And then once you lift that dirt, then you want to come back around with a clean rag and then just just wipe it clean and that's the best way to clean a tent top however i'm gonna add in here that lots of people use floor cleaners on tents. I haven't tried this yet, but when I get into my new shop and I have the space to run floor cleaners over it, you bet your butt I'm gonna be making a video on that. So Tent Guy Les, don't make a video about me before that. Actually, I think Tent Guy already made a video about that. So I guess I'm just copying him. Whatever, back to the cleaning stuff. Sometimes you can clean your chairs with a contraption like this. Get it across here. Okay, turn it on. <laughs> shoots the water all over the place. We don't actually have to dip them in the water. Uh, one of my subscribers made this contraption, but sometimes there's just no turning back and you need to blow torch the chairs to get that plastic rejuvenated. And I bought one of these. What's this? It's a torch. Why? Because I saw a video with a torch. Let's grab some brown chairs. Grab the torch. Okay, so on brown chair, finished product, here's the first chair, and here's uh, the one that's blow torch. No blow torch, blow torch. Also, goo gone. If you got stickers or tape on anything and they leave the gooey residue, this is what you're gonna wanna use. You're gonna wanna use. Thanks for watching guys. So in closing, I'd just like to say there's not one thing that is good for every single job, but there is definitely one thing that is good for each different thing. And pre-cleaning, pre-treating, and trying different methods is key till you find that really, really good banger cleaning method. So these are a few of my methods. I hope you like them. I hope you use them. I hope you try them. If you try them and you like them, leave it in the comments and you know what to do. Maybe press that like button anyway what to do uh and as always you stay classy we'll see you in the next cleaning video we've got plenty of laundry videos and all that good stuff coming up because i've got a lot to learn thanks for watching